Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies and respected colleagues in the audience, g'day from down under from all your friends in Australia. It's an absolute privilege to be here today. Please allow me to begin by thanking the Argentine Republic for their kind generosity in hosting us here today and for this important event, for their warm hospitality and being in this magnificent city of Buenos Aires. It's a real privilege to be here, thank you. And this year marks a really important anniversary. It's the 25th anniversary of the ITU development sector. And over those 25 years, the development sector has made important, if not vital, contributions to the growth and expansions of telecommunications and ICT networks and services. And I think that's worthy of pause. And I think it's worthy of a round of applause from all of you in this room for all your hard work over this time in revolutionizing the way the world interconnects and communicates. But, but we can't rest on our laurels. And indeed, since this conference last met, there's been progress made. Governments around the world have agreed the Agenda 2030 for sustainable development. And this agenda recognizes that technologies is, are vital contributors to ending poverty, expanding access to quality education, achieving gender equality and social inclusion, promoting inclusive economic growth, improving health outcomes, and supporting cross-sectorial innovation all worthy goals for us to achieve in partnership and collaboration. And the theme for the conference this year, ICT for Sustainable Development Goals, I think encourages every one of us in this room to think about what contribution the ITU development sector may make to the achievement of this important and ambitious agenda. In Australia last week, we released and published our first ever international cyber engagement strategy, which set an ambitious agenda across the full spectrum of cyber affairs. And it firmly illustrates my government's commitment to this agenda in the long term. And we base our approach on a commitment to an open, free, secure cyberspace. And the strategy established a comprehensive and coordinated approach to inform governments, private sector, civil societies, wherever they might be, what Australia's perspective is. And it will provide the basis for creative partnerships across seven key themes, digital trade, cybersecurity, cybercrime, international security, internet governance, human rights, and technology for development. And the theme technology for development sets out our continued commitment to working bilaterally, regionally, multilaterally, to engaging access, encouraging access, and to and encouraging innovative uses of digital technologies to support sustainable and inclusive development wherever that might take place. And we strongly support the ITU development sector's role in stimulating social and economic development by facilitating access to ICTs. And we are incredibly proud of our long-standing commitment and collaboration with the ITU. Our annual voluntary contributions support a whole range and plethora of different projects across multiple countries. And they've included supporting better regulation and national telecommunications ICT policies, promoting ICT access, bridging digital divides, strengthening cybersecurity and computer emergency response team capabilities and supporting emergency communications. Having been a member of the council since 1959, we look forward to continuing that long-term commitment that we have as a country to working with the ITU to deliver on that core mandate and leverage its key competencies to support the sustainable development goals. We also look forward to working together in that spirit of cooperation and collaboration to successfully complete the work of the conference. And under your leadership, Mr. Chairman, and the efforts of all of you distinguished delegations, we are sure we'll achieve a positive outcome at this conference. But also, more importantly, over the next 25 years, we will progress even further. And with that, I would like to thank you all.